Welcome to more getaways with Noel. In this video, I'll be showing you more of the beautiful Kutz worlds. Join me as we explore two picturesque places close to each other that are full of character and history situated in a lovely English countryside. This is Burford and Bivory. Burford is a town located in the west of Oxfordshire, England. If you are traveling to Burford with your car, there is a car park with a small church near the church or at the end of the church lane by the river Windrush. The car park is only less than 5 minutes walk to the main street. Burford is a small town so it's best to explore on foot. Depending on what you want to do, a couple of hours to half a day visit will be sufficient to experience what the town can offer. This is the Church of St. John the Baptist built around the 12th century and which has undergone several restorations up until the late 19th century. This grade 1 listed building is known for its merchant skilled chapel and memorial to Henry VIII's barber surgeon Edmund Harman which features South American Indians. The restorations in the 15th century were completed due to donations from local rich merchants and farmers of the wool trade who were hoping that their contributions would ensure them a place in heaven. These donations from the wool trade give name to these buildings being called wool churches of which the St. John the Baptist is one of the largest in the Cotswolds. The thing that sets Burford apart from other places in the Cotswolds is a high street line with half timber and stone houses built from different periods. You will see most of these 15th century and baroque style townhouses on the hill street. It was so pleasant to walk along the row of beautiful houses and be able to capture some historical moments from the Middle Saxon to the Norman Conquest period. This is what most visitors are hoping to see for its unique and picturesque appearance. You can also park your car on the high street but please be aware that there may be some restrictions on some parts. Walking from the top of the hill, you can see down along the high street and into the Windrush Valley. The street has many different kinds of shops, tea rooms, hotels, restaurants and pubs, as well as antique shops for which Burford is renowned. You can also find a tasty local snack in one of the many independent shops. A 10 to 15 minutes drive to the west of Burford and in the county of Gloucestershire is the small village of Bybury. Bybury is situated on the River Colne and is beside the river where you can find a small row of free parking. The parking site is a handy location for the most visited attraction in Bybury and probably the main reason for a visit is to see the famous Arlington Row. Bybury is a major destination for tourists visiting the traditional rural villages, tea houses and many historic buildings of the Cotswold district. There are also a few walking trails around the village and its nearby countryside should you wish to see more of the area.
Opposite the bridge is the 18th century Swan Hotel, a former coaching inn. The building was used to hold manor court sessions and you can still find the village locked up next to the car park. The largest attraction in the village is the Trout Farm which was founded in 1902 and is one of the oldest in the country. There's a formal garden that you can see from the road and visitors can see how fish are bred and reared as well as visit the gift shop and cafe. Opposite the Trout Farm is one of the entrances to visit Arlington Row. This is a walk across the Rock Isle where wool used to be hung out to dry on rocks after it has been washed in Arlington Row. The Isle as well as the Arlington Row is owned and managed by the National Trust who ensure that the area is preserved and where nature can thrive such as water voles and plant life. Due to the flat terrain of the isle, it has become a water meadow and marshy area, especially during a seasonal flood. Nonetheless, it is an important habitat for water-loving plants and birds, including mallards, coots, and moorhens. It's also a National Trust wildfowl reserve. This is the closer look of the Arlington Row which possibly the most photographed scene in the Cotswolds. This small row of cottages was first built in 1380 as a wool store and later converted in the 17th century into the cottages. This is also a nationally notable architectural conservation area and apparently it is depicted on the inside cover of all current United Kingdom passports. Although Arlington Row is a popular tourist attraction, do remember that these are people's homes, so please act with respect when visiting. A short walk along the River Colm will take you to St. Mary's Church. The churchyard is planted with varieties of roses, which was really welcoming and complemented the area. This Anglo-Saxon church was built in the middle to late 11th century and is made from limestone with a slate roof. The building has a nape with north and south aisles, a clerestory, chancel and south porch. In 1863, a restoration of the church took place by George Gilbert Scott with further work done later in the century. This grade 1 listed building is considered as a gem among the Cotswolds Church for its history and architecture. The exterior of the church has some Norman craftsmanship such as the doorway which was beautifully carved and built about 1180. As the artist William Morris said, Bivory is one of the most beautiful villages in England. It is worth for a half a day visit and can be combined with Burford as we did on this occasion or Siren Sister which is only a 15 minute drive away. These places in Cotswold are remarkably unique and possibly only found in England. 
Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more getaways with Noel.